So the built-in validators in the Angular platform can be used for a decent amount of basic validation, but when things get complex, it's time to create a custom validator. The intent of the order sheet form is for all fields to start out empty, which means that the radio button groups of size and bread will not have a default selection. And while it's possible to wrap a sandwich in leaf lettuce instead of bread, the deli kind of needs to know what size of a sandwich the customer wants. So the form needs a way to validate that at least one of the sizes was selected. This can be accomplished by writing a custom validator. Over in the code editor, I'm going to add a new file to the project inside of this shared directory that is in the counter folder. The counter is one of the feature folders in the application, and it represents the countertop at which the customer would order their sandwich. This new file will be named radio-set-required.function.ts. In here, I'm going to add an import statement and bring in control group from at angular slash common. I'm bringing in control group because that is the type that I actually want to attach this validator to, seeing as I want to check if at least one control in it is checked. You can create a validator that will work against a control group, a control, or a control array, the core form blocks that you can attach validators to. Okay, I need to create and export a function that is similar to the signature of the built-in validators. I will name this function radio set required. When I wire this up, the function will get called to check validation and will receive the abstract control type object that the validator is on. Since I am designing this to be for a control group, I will add a parameter named control group and use TypeScript to declare that it is of type control group. When this function gets called, its return value will be checked. And if it returns null, then it is considered to have passed validation. And when it returns an object, it has failed validation. So in the logic for this function, I need to check all controls in the passed in control group and see if at least one of them is checked. The control group has a property named controls that is an object. That same structure that I made in the object literal passed into the form builder.group call. So I can write a for loop here, putting let name of, and then a call to object.keys, passing it control group.controls. This will give me all the enumerable property names that are on that object. In the loop, I can create a local scope variable with a let space radio and set that equal to control group dot controls bracket name bracket dot value and then the type assertion as space radio button state. Now I'm doing the type assertion here so I can get some editor support. But to complete that, I got to import this radio button state as well. So I'll add that to the import list. And now I can test the checked property on radio. And if true, I can return null because validation passes. Finally, if the code ran through the loop without returning, then the control group is invalid and I need to have it return an object. So I can return an object literal with whatever structure I want. I will give it a property of at least one radio required and set it to true. In the next video, I will go over how to wire up this validator and make use of its return model for some visual feedback.